hear that wave. Something in this tree make a noise. I don't know if it's some kind of termite or ant or something, but there's all these holes they drill. But uh, Adam was sleeping over there. He said they were keeping him up all night. Hey, this this year's trip compared to the last time you came. Did you do uh, Oxlair Ridge last time? Last time was Graceland Highlands, and that's that's my high point. That's. I think that's that's the best trip I've ever been on. This is a very nice trip. This is a fantastic trip, but Graceland Highlands, of all the trips I've ever been on, is the best. Um, but like the last time you were here, Red River. Oh, last time I was here, um, it was comparable. It was great both times, this time and last time. No, saying, no complaints. You're saying there's a lot more fog out here, though? Get a little bit of a gray sky, but it looks nice. So I'm breaking down my camp, pulling down the tarp right now. I've got my, my quilt and my under quilt in the bag already, along with my clothes and my puffy jackets. It's not real cold this morning. It's a little bit colder yesterday morning. Um, something nobody says about the, the Dyneema is you can, you can basically see right through it. Uh, you know, I, I think I saw that on the website before I bought it, but I didn't think about the fact that that meant that when the moon is shining down through the trees, you, it, it just goes right through it. So if, if it's bright outside at night and you're trying to sleep, it's going to be real bright. Uh, under the tarp. It's not going to offer any cover. It it diffuses the sun a little bit, um, but it's it's not shade, really. Um, but I do feel like I think I, I got it set up to the point where if it rained, I, I would have been okay, or at least I could have brought it down and then I would have been okay. But it, it didn't look like it was going to rain uh, yesterday or, or today. So uh, We do have some clouds coming in. So the sky's a little bit more gray now, but uh, yeah, it's been nice. It's been uh, it's been it was it was totally clear all day yesterday and the day before. All right, so I'm gonna finish taking all this down, and uh, we'll be finishing up the trip during our last stretch. Uh, back to the cars now. Everybody's kind of over over that hill uh, down by the the cliffs having breakfast right now. I already had mine, so I figured I'd get a early start on taking the my setup down so I was really excited about these uh, steaks and I still like them they're super lightweight and they're, they're tough uh, but I did end up bending one last night without too much effort um, I didn't uh, I didn't actually know titanium bent as easily as that but yeah it's got about the same strength as steel so if it's small enough it'll it'll bend uh, it's just a lot lighter than steel. But, uh, yeah. I mean, it's... I feel like I'm I, I'm having a little bit of trouble bending it back, maybe, but uh, it's just more of the weird shape of it than anything. But, yeah, I do I do like these stakes, so I'm going to keep them, even if they, they do bend a little bit. This one was kind of a last-minute purchase, but I'm glad I got it. So it's... Um, this little clip you can sorry let me focus it in here so you can uh, you can just have it loose the whole tarp goes down oh I lost it Hang on. I'm trying to do this with one hand it's a little bit trickier all right so I just fed the, the line back through there and then you can tighten it up so the tarp is down but I'm just pulling on this, and it brings the whole thing back up to to where I want it. Uh, I got it caught in the thing because I'm doing it with one hand again. But yeah, it's it's really neat. Uh, and if I need a little bit more line, I when if it's shorter, I can run it around the tree on either side. And if it's longer, like it was last night, then I just run it around like this, clip it onto itself, uh, which is good because then I've I've got a lot of length. 
And I've got the uh, the extenders for the, the hammock straps too, although I don't know that I'd, I'd use those. I haven't used them yet, so I might, I might end up leaving them next time, but we'll see. I think they give me some more versatility if, uh, if I'm in an area with sparse trees. All right, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish up uh, tearing down. It's like, once you time, I'm not every 10 <laughs> steps, you have to make an Indian howl. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> it's got a completely different set of gear. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yo, what's he gonna come up with this time? Oh, no. <laughs> Yep. Okay. Still there. All right. Uh, so that was what we did: uh, Oxlayer Ridge, and yep. then uh, Red River Gorge, Kentucky. Yeah. So I'm filming. Uh, what would you guys rate that out of five? Four and a half. Four and a half. Give it four and a half. I think four point five as well. Okay. Four point five. And that's that's only because you've been on hikes that you liked uh, a little bit more. Yep. Right. Yes. By comparison, it suffers in a few areas, but it's it was it was nice. Yeah. Not having access to water is a solid half star. Not having access to water, and honestly, the view at Indian Staircase, like from the top, was it? Yeah. Yeah. The view at that first at Oxley Ridge, though, was that, that was really neat. That was really seeing neat. the the clouds I under the mountains. Liked where I camped. The view. I mean, they were both nice views, but being on the side of the rock. Where I camped, I like the view there better. Okay. Did you guys ever make your way down where I camped? I never did. No. No, I didn't see it. Alright. Well, yeah, great trip. I had a good time. Yeah, yeah that was definitely a great trip.